look at this week's weekly lunch menu. Fall EOCs are right around the corner. Teachers, please pause the screen so your students can find their EOC dates. Woodmont Works is a school-based business run by Woodmont students. We make personalized spirit apparel and other items with vinyl, embroidery, and sublimation. Check out our spirit wear using the QR code. Our order form is also located on the website. These are the clubs that are meeting this week. Last week, your Wildcats played against Easley. JV won 22-14 and Varsity won 28-14. This week, your Wildcats play at Seneca. Good luck, Wildcats! Your Lady Wildcats cheer team has a competition on September 30th at Easley. Make sure you come and support your Lady Wildcats. Last week, your Lady Wildcats volleyball team played Jailman. JV winning 2-0 and Varsity falling short in five sets. On Thursday, they played Hillcrest, JV winning 2-1, and, and Varsity falling short in 4. Your Lady Wildcats also played in the Battle at the Berg tournament, placing 3rd in gold. This week, your Lady Wildcats play at Teal Hannah on Thursday. Make sure to come support. Go Wildcats! This week, your Wildcats boys volleyball team play Teal Hannah at home this Thursday. Make sure to come support your boys volleyball team at their first. This Thursday is senior night for your Woodmont swim team. They will have a meet with Molden, Hillcrest, and T.L. Hanna at Poinsettia. The girls' golf team had two competitions last week. They competed in the Lady Hurricane Tournament as well as had a match against J.L. Mann. This week, they compete in two tournaments. Today, they compete in the Lady Eagle Tournament at Stony Point, and tomorrow, they compete in the Greenville County Invitational at Willow Creek. Next week, they have a match against Malden and Hillcrest at Holly Tree on the 26th. Congratulations to our Lady Cats for taking a win in doubles, which led them to beating Wade Hampton 4-3 last week. This week, they play T. Ohana and Malden. Good luck. This past weekend, your cross-country team ran in the Palmetto Invitational. Boys place second place and girls place eighth. Tomorrow night, they'll run at... This is Drip or Skip. Elijah here and Antonio. 
Elijah, tell us what you're wearing today. I'm wearing the Little Mermaid shirt, ID, some Ono shorts, shoes, Adidas, Coca-Cola, po- Coca-Cola background. It's a drip! <laughs> awesome, awesome. That's really good. All right. What are you wearing today, Antonio? ID, or shoot, or white shoes. Orange shorts, orange, orange shirt, and orange, sh- orange, orange shorts. All right, all right, that's drip. What's your name? Drip. Yeah. And what? Tell, tell us what your drip. What, what are you wearing today? I got this crop. You feel me? Crop T-shirt. I got the flare pants with the fours. You know, you feel me? Oh, uh, where, where'd you get these, these, um, these items from? Uh, I got this from Boohoo, BooHooMan.com. I got this from Modern Simplicity. Right. And I got the shoe, uh, shoes from Goat. You feel me? Yeah. Where'd you get the chain? Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Amazon, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get up, Morning, Wildcats. Last week, the Banner Pride performed alongside 13 other high school marching bands at the Greenfield County Schools Marching Band Exhibition. The Banner Pride also performed at the Homecoming Game versus Easley High School. Here's what we've been up to at our afternoon rehearsal. Now let's take a look at our marching band interview of the week. All right, I'm here with Isaac Wood, and he plays the tuba. All right, Isaac, what's your favorite thing about band? My favorite thing is probably performing at away games. I get to support my team at a different football stadium, and I get to play really loud against other bands. All right, Isaac, if you didn't play the tuba, what instrument would you play? Probably the tuba. All right, Isaac, show us your marching technique. Five, six, seven, eight. The Wildcat players have started working on their fall play Clue and their competition act Once on this Island. Clue will run from the 19th to the 22nd of October, and Once on this Island will run from the 27th to the 28th of October. Our annual food drive trick-or-treat so kids can eat will run from October 2nd to the end of the month. On September 30th, we have a thespian yard sale in the Woodmont Student Parking Lot. For next week's closing, I nominate Miss Hamby. Hi, I'm Miss Brundage, the librarian. I hope you'll come and visit me in the library and check out some of our programs and check out some of our books. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the show and uh, make sure you check out all of our social media accounts. And that concludes the Wildcat Buzz, where now you know. <laughs>